Hey all, welcome back to this series on Two Geeks Talking. Of course, this is mastering podcast and video interviews from geek to guru. Today, we're talking about planning your content. So how do we go about that? Let's explore that in this episode. If you're ready to turn your creative spark into organized episodes, you're in for a treat. First, we need to be able to set your creativity free. So to do this, just grab a pen and paper or open up Notepad or whatever app you use and start taking down creative ideas that inspire you, that are entertaining and that are engaging, that you're passionate about. We want to be able to write down anything and everything that sparks your imagination, whether it's different themes that you're passionate about, any challenges that you faced in your own personal creative journeys, trends that are happening currently with whatever topic you've brainstormed and finding your niche in the previous episode, personal experiences you've gone through that will maybe educate and benefit others that are experiencing the same trials and errors that you've gone through. Anything and everything is valid to write down. Just don't hold back. Sometimes the best connections that you can write down are usually the most unexplored and unexpected connections in terms of your creative journey, especially when you're trying to figure out what your niche was, as you did in the previous episode as well. As you're brainstorming your many different ideas in many different areas that you're trying to figure out for your content, don't take the safe paths. Explore unexpected connections with what you're trying to create in your content. Maybe it's just something that is seemingly unrelated to what you're creating is going to drive you towards a whole different area in terms of what your content is going to eventually become. Now, from this brainstorming session, choose ideas that truly resonate with your audience. Consider their needs, interests, and challenges. And your episode titles and concepts should promise value, inspiration, or entertainment, or edutainment. I like a combination of both education and entertainment if you happen to have that available in your repertoire. If not, you may find an avenue that works better for you when it comes to the content you want to create. It also depends on what you're trying to create as well, too, whether that's a one-on-one style interview, maybe there's certain questions you get to ask and, and you get answers for, Maybe you eventually try to fine tune your questions to something that's more relevant to the episode that you're trying to create, but it also depends on what type of episode you're trying to create. Are you doing a how-to? Are you doing an entertainment segment? Are you doing a one-on-one style interview? Whatever your niche is going to be, try to fit your content and your plan to these episode titles and names. That'll help you with your SEO and everything like that in the future. Now that you've written down all of these ideas, you've got to keep yourself organized or else it's just going to be a whirlwind of what did I do? What did I create? Have I done this episode already? Have I created a solution to this question that I've seen in the past or that I'm able to answer? You want to keep yourself organized and there are many different ways to do that. There's actually five real easy ways to keep yourself organized when you're trying to create your content calendar. And because consistency is key and is the heartbeat of your content calendar, make sure that you also allocate time to research, to do your scripts, to do your recordings and editing as well too. Make sure that you provide yourself in your 24 hours the ability to do everything like this so that you're not bogged down and you're not overwhelmed by your journey and your your creativity. This is to make sure that your journey is is well-structured and maintained. Those top five ways to keep yourself organized are this, defining your purpose. You have to define your purpose in your content. What is the goal of your interview? What is your goal of your episode? What is your ability to create content? Are you trying to inform? Are you trying to entertain? Are you trying to inspire? Or are you trying to educate? Tip number two, knowing your audience. If you know your audience inside and out, it makes your ability to create content a lot easier. You understand what they want in your terms of your content. You want to understand what their interests are, and you want to understand what challenges and solutions that you can offer with the videos you're trying to put out there. Whether it's a one minute video or whether it's a 30 minute video, as long as you solve their question 
to their problem, that's all the better for them. And they'll keep coming back for what information you have to share. Tip number three is planning engaging questions. If you're doing an interview, plan your questions out. I mean, you can find questions online for the type of content that you're trying to create. If this is, say, a one-on-one style interview, I'm sure there's questions that you can modify that you found online as well, too, in order to get the information you're trying to get out of the guests that you have if you're doing a one-on-one style. Myself, in terms of Two Geeks Talking question, because we've been doing this for over 15 plus years, I've had to change my questions from time to time because I got bored with them. I wanted to switch it up, try something new, try something different. And as soon as I switched to the style that we currently have, I found it was more engaging, more entertaining, more introspective in nature than just your traditional cookie cutter questions about the entertainment industry. But you have to figure out your own voice when it comes to these styles of questions. That is if this is the style you're going for. Obviously, you're going to modify the content to what you want to create based on the niche that you've actually created. So find what works for you and really dive into making yourself an engaging host and an engaging person in terms of what you're trying to promote and share. Tip four is research your guest. One-on-one style interviews are are wonderful, but they're very time consuming because you have to plan ahead. You have to get your guest. You have to research your guests, look through their social media, look through their website, find out information, say if they're a comic creator. And in my case, we get a lot of comic creators on the show. Research what they've done in the past. Maybe bring up past interviews that they've done as well, too. Maybe you find questions and maybe they've responded to a question in the past and you want to revisit that question. Maybe it's been years since they've been asked that question. Don't be afraid to to ask the questions you want to get answers out of them from because a lot of creative people are introverted people. So it may be difficult to get the answers you're looking for, but try your best, be friendly and be engaging and Realistically, it's all about enjoying them on the show as a guest because they're passionate about what they love doing. You're passionate about having them on the show. And it's just a win-win situation for everyone around. Tip number five is content structure. If you organize yourself, if you plan ahead, if you have done your research, if you have looked into your guest, if you have a set batch of questions, maybe you're limited on time. You have to keep that in mind as well, too. Maybe you've done everything possible in order to get them on the show and you have, say, 15 minutes or a half hour to ask them questions. Plan ahead. Get your questions set up. If you have to do your intro and outro after the fact, we'll talk about this in later episodes as well, too, in terms of how to formulate your creative process. So stay tuned for that episode and make it as engaging as possible. Don't be afraid to joke if that's your style of of content you want to create, make it lighthearted, or maybe you're looking for a more Dateline or more Conan or more different style of interview that is maybe different than what's been posted more recently. Again, all up to you in terms of how you want to put together your show and you'll eventually change your structure to fit what works best for you. Maybe you need a shorter form content in terms of a time limits on your own self. Maybe you only have a set amount of time where I'm only going to do, say, 30 minutes per per interview. Figure that out as you go along and you'll find out what works best for you. But don't be afraid to try something different every episode to keep yourself fresh, to keep yourself interesting, and to be engaging with the guests you're looking at. After those five tips, let's look at balancing themes and variations. We kind of hinted at that just on tip number five there. But in order to keep your audience engaged, you have to aim for that harmonious mix of episode themes. Are you going to be able to balance educational with inspiration? Are you going to be able to balance entertaining with maybe introspective? Maybe this isn't the style. Maybe you're doing research essays in terms of a particular form of entertainment or sports or whatever your niche is. Those are all valid ways to educate and entertain people as well too. But don't be afraid to also listen to your audience and understand their feedback because their feedback is actually more valuable than you realize because it's what they want to be able to see. You may have your own style in terms of putting your content out there, but maybe you have to take the time to spend an episode on their valid questions. That's great content as well too. So there you have it. That's five tips on how to unleash your creativity and organize yourself from a content perspective. Don't be afraid to use a calendar. Don't be afraid to use Google Sheets. Don't be afraid to use various content creation toolkits that are out there 
and find something that works best for you. Because as long as you're organized, you're able to plan out your content ahead of time and you won't burn yourself out and you'll enjoy your creative process even better. Final notes, embrace your creativity, plan with purpose, and let your passion guide you on this incredible content creation journey. Thanks for joining. And until next time, keep those conversations flowing. Did you enjoy this video? Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more insightful content. And as always, stay tuned on Two Geeks Talk.